I entered. Oh, Bioshock. Yeah. In Bioshock, you can see if you've entered a room. Especially because they have that function that some rooms you can't go into directly. Like, it doesn't matter in games where you have access to everything all the time, but it matters in a game like this where you don't have access and then suddenly you have clearance and access to these rooms. Okay. Dead letters. What do we have here? It down there, everything's unlocked. There, everything's unlocked too. What about here? Yeah, the communications department was pretty big. Maybe you can just retrace your steps back? Mm, that's a bit difficult. The areas are too big. For me, personally. It'll just take a bit longer, but it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, I think what I need to do... Hey, here we got one. Nice. Yeah, I think I'll just basically... When I go to an area, I'll try to run around it as much as possible. Just to... Like, you know, just look around more thoroughly in every region. Oh, damn it. Almost nailed it. No. How did I get up there? Oh, I guess I don't. But there's... Oh. Never mind. Even though I have my glasses on, I'm still blind. Because there's a bridge. No. Door there is locked. Okay. Mail room. This is where we came from. Pneumatics. Maybe there's something here. No, not here. Mm -mm. Basically... <laughs> Spicy says, yeah, I don't know why you have glasses. Well, they were supposed to help me, but they betrayed me. Basically, if you see a red light anywhere, on like a door type of thing, let me know. I might miss it. Oh, there was a door here, I think. That we didn't have clearance for. Here? No. Ah, it was here, but we got access to it. Yeah, but... Again, this is a place we can't enter, right? Yep. Hmm. I wonder when we can. There's so many rooms with that effect that won't let us go anywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've ex we've explored this. Oh, however, This place.
Oh, we're back in the director's office. Okay. Wait, what was that? Central executive? Oh, oh, look! Clearance 4! Hey! Oh my god, what? Somebody has a serious posted addiction. Whoa, okay. Sticky note complaint. Oh god. To whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. <gasps> oh, Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. <laughs> uh, this isn't that bad. Wait. Oh, we have a new video. Now it's basically telling us to use the crafting. Okay. This room is funny. Oh my god. Look, oh, this area seems to become more alive. What's your read on all this? It's bad, but we can handle it. What do we have here? Director's office. All this is clear. Hmm. You know which area I can't find anymore? The one we entered. The entrance to this bureau itself. Even when I tried to go down the corridors we went before, we'd never end up there. It's weird. Oh, this radio. Hmm, nothing here. room with Emily. Okay, I think we've... Executive Affairs, we've been to Dead Letters, the Communications, we've been to Pneumatics, we've been Mail Room, Cafeteria, Hotline Chamber. But have we been to Executive Affairs? Any word on survivors? We've located numerous safe rooms with survivors. Yeah, I think we just did, didn't we? Yeah, it's with these guys. Yep, we were there. Yeah, the executive area should be clear. We don't have any locked out rooms. Which I like. Hey, what's our quest? Oh. I have a timed mission. I should probably do that one first. At least try to do it. Destroy his nodes. Okay, so we're doing the same thing again. Now the question is, where are they? Oh, 
I don't see any hiss mode. What is going on? There's no enemies spawning anywhere. Game, are you just trolling me now? What are you doing? Oh, they're up. Oh my god. Can I even get up there from down here? I don't think so. Oh dear. Hey, where's my control point? Or can I... Yeah, there they are. Okay, where's my control point? You have seven minutes left. Oh dear. Um, what do, which one was? Oh, upper level. Here we go. Yeah, there they are. This is not gonna be pretty. This fight is gonna be ugly. Oh, almost died, but oh, that's okay. Krogan this, really? I'm not sure it's gonna help. whether one of those nodes left or two. Oh, we finished it. Nice. We actually finished it. And we didn't die. have been easy if I had fought all of them, which I didn't. Whoops. You know what? We haven't visited Ahti quite in quite some time. Too bad he doesn't have fast travel to him. No, he wasn't on the way Look to alive. ventilation. Right? Or was he? 
the enemies level up, but the combat still seems fairly easy. Mm, I wouldn't say that exactly. Maybe it looks easy, but it necessarily isn't when you actually play it. Maybe I just make it look easy. <laughs> I'm kidding, but there are moments where it surprisingly goes surprisingly well, but then there are moments where it's really, really hard. No. Wrong way. My god, how did I get to Ahti? Here, right? Or over there? That's elevators. Yeah. Or maybe I had to use the elevators. I remember I got to him relatively easy, but now... Hmm. Oh my god. Can't find the janitor anymore. Ventilation. Oh, I think I have to go through ventilation after all. Man, why couldn't he be in an easy, reachable place? janitor's office this way okay no enemies this time oh look at that a clearance room hey, hey hmm that's it oh dear Run for your life. Containment sector has lost two spells. Wait, is he giving me new missions? Clear the clock Back. again? What would kill a bad thing? They are very good listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. Talk to the plants and clean the clog? Whoa. Okay. Pump station. And plants in central research. Hmm. Okay. Let's do... Let's go clear the clog. Let's do that. Okay, that's an elevator. Just keep running. Just keep running. Okay, maintenance pump station. Oh, we could finish this. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we haven't been there yet. Oh, 
Wait, we have to go there from the janitor's office? Wait a minute. How? This map can be confusing. I'm in the janitor's office. Okay. Wait, what? Now I'm supposed to go here. Game, you're funny. Okay, but... If I go downstairs, is there a door there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that goes back up. Yeah, I I don't know how to get there. He's sending me weird places I don't know how to reach. Doesn't go through here. Elevator. Where does the elevator go? Okay, it goes to the pumps. Maybe that's where. After all, we fought it here before. And it shows a room on the left. It's probably upstairs. Is it? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's not a room there. I guess it's the that place. Now these are pipe works. This is not a pump station. me to go. Oh yeah. Actually, I should probably take the elevator back. It's gonna be quicker. You know what? Screw off these missions for now. We're gonna... We're gonna go after the main mission.
Okay, let's go find Dylan. You too, crazy. <laughs> You're playing a permadeath run of No Man's Sky? Oh, good luck. Good luck with that one. Oh, we still haven't talked to Emily. We do that too. You got really lucky on, on your starter planet? Nice. <laughs> I'm doing just fine, but thank you. Well, you never know how... how the game turns. After all, it's permadeath. Oh, we got a new file. Linguistic ability. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating hiss entities. However, no, no distinction between the re this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent hiss entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating string of words? Is this how the hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? We were able to record a first-hand rec recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio record. Where's the corresponding audio record? You can't tell me to go see it if you don't have it, girl. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. They're here, alive, thanks to you. We never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples. But no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet. But perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if his resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the his resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. And there's her weirdness coming out. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used Blackrock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out! Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives! So many combat applications! Slicing, stabbing, gouging, or... Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. Yeah, here her weird weirdness is starting to I show. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Lots to do. 
Hey, can we ask her questions? No. Where? Where's Irish? Once we can safely bring them out, survivors will be escorted. You have stairs. Want to take down one of those flying motherfuckers? Bullshit. You want me to go to research? If Marshall is here, Irish should be here somewhere too. Hmm. Welcome back. Wait, what's that? Oh, would you look at that? I still can't get to that jukebox. But I wanna wanna use that jukebox. Rude. Okay. What's this? This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. Ooh. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. Oh, no. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. No hiss followed you in, right? It's ridiculous. Pope's grasping at straws. Why? If hiss is. I want to get more abilities. It's a frequency. Then why couldn't it vibrate molecules in order to alter? Mm -hmm. Ooh, upgrade spin. Can't wait to do that. To human physiology. Okay. Actually, what about... Power. What about our mods? Oh, that's a lot of them. Wait. This is better than the one we have right now. At this point, we can... Deconstruct all the level 2 ones. We're getting nice level 3 ones. Then we can delete the duplicates. Okay, nice. Much better overlook. The weapons ones, though, they'll have some level of ones. These are duplicates. Too bad that the identical ones don't place themselves next to each other. I basically have to play a game of eliminate two identical ones. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Collectibles, multimedia, that was... Yeah. That was about the jukebox, missions. We have a lot of missions. Hmm. Okay, we will do that for Emily later. Or we could do it now. Hmm. Boss. Think about it. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Outfits? We still have oh, the same ones. Okay, um... 
Oh, she's also in an unknown location. I think we shouldn't go there because then we'll just wander around. Let's go after Dylan. And he's in a new area. Containment sector. Hey, here we are. Containment sector. Panopticon. Altered items. Maximum security prison. Dangerous. Okay then. And on that note, I'm afraid I have to stop for today. <laughs> Okay, we just arrived in the containment level, yeah, find Dylan, then we had the Ahti missions, oh and then this mission given by Emily, still I gotta go to here. If I'm not wrong, this should give me a shield, and I feel like I should probably get it. You know what? We're gonna find a control point, and we're gonna teleport back. I know I've done it multiple times by now, but I gotta figure it out somehow. I don't think the, the room is gonna open by itself. Oh dear. Object and item distinctions. Summary. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant parotilitarian abilities. Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact with the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the redacted affiliation with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the redacted evaluates who can or cannot enter. Do they mean the board? Due to the board's affiliation with objects of power? Hmm. Thirdly, this is not always the case. Objects of power are much more paranaturally redacted than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have redacted altered items for every object of power contained within the bureau. Okay. Have we seen this one? I think we did. The containment. Yeah. Wait, I don't remember. You know what? Let's watch it again. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. 